Good morning, everyone. This is Mark with Wear Parts, and with me I've got Eric Derry from our Inside Sales Customer Care Team. And uh, we just wanted to touch on, uh, we've been going over fertilizer knives this morning. Now, we do have some spare parts for them, and uh, just wanted to go through them a little bit. Uh, this is a standard 3H2. Uh, it's uh, about 13 and a half, 14 inches long, and it can be used. And it's actually pinched here and cross drilled. Uh, and so, uh, tell us some of the reasons, Eric, uh, why we are carrying these spare parts for the consumers. Well, the nice thing is that uh, about our knives, we've got a lot of configurations, but. If there happens to be one that we don't have and are able to get out the door exactly the way you want it, uh, we're giving you the option to be able to essentially build your own. Um, if you need to add a third tube or a second tube to an application, a 3 8 tube, you can buy this by itself, weld it on, and still have that long wearing knife. Uh, another reason that you might want this is because if those knives last the way they should, the way that we want them to, there's a potential that you could be wearing out something else on that. Gotcha. It's like the side of a side of a uh, uh, fertilizer tube. Correct. Gotcha. If you're if you're running a if your shank happens to be a little bent on your machine, and you happen to get a little bit of wear on the side, but the knife itself is in still in good shape, you can weld another tube on there and then continue to run that knife. So I noticed that that one's standard steel, and then 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 that one there. Is a stainless steel. What's tell us? Well, why do I want to run stainless? Why do I want to run a, a standard tube? Well, on most applications, a standard tube is going to do just fine. But in certain, uh, particularly particularly in uh, uh, liquid applications where you're running highly caustic um, fertilizer like urea, uh, that's going to chew. It'll actually corrode and erode the uh, mild steel much faster than the stainless steel. Stainless steel is going to give you some uh, uh, be longer lasting uh, for that uh, erosion, that corrosion effect that's going gotcha. to happen. Okay. And then it looks like, is that a vapor tube that we can, uh, that you guys can add on to that's, an existing knife? That's correct. If uh, uh, you, for whatever particular reason, you wear out a vapor tube, you can always add a new one onto it. Um, if uh, you have a set of knives at, at, at your at your place and you want to uh, outfit a couple of them for for a vapor tube, get this welded on. Uh, make sure you put some protection some on the sides, sides yeah, side some to plates. keep that from uh, um, so it stays in line and isn't going to wear out nearly as fast. And then this here, this here is wow, my goodness, my goodness, this thing is heavy. But this is a. Uh, Beaver tail sealer, what do, we, what do we use those for, Eric? If you have an application, <laughs> that thing is it's pretty hefty. If you do have an application where uh, uh, you are still getting some puffing with your anhydrous, uh, you can always add these to it onto the back side of the knife so that you do have that additional seal on you. Pretty snazzy. Very good. And uh, there's a there's there's probably that's this is for a three eighths, right? A knife is that okay? And we would have one for a half inch as well. Yes. And yeah, that thing is is quite that's, heavy, heavy duty. That's a that's a nice uh, uh, three eighths thick, um, AR four hundred steel. That's a, it's a good solid seal there. Well, that wraps up our uh, spare parts for the fertilizer knives. Um, Thank you guys for uh, joining us this morning.